Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Me Plus Everything. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys one of my favorite holiday dishes, meatloaf. Can you guys believe this week is Thanksgiving already and then next month is gonna be Christmas? If you guys still are having a hard time trying to decide on what dish to bring to your holiday party, well, you've come to the right place because I'm gonna show you guys a very simple, easy meatloaf recipe that you guys can do for the holidays or just for any regular day. All right, let's get to it. Start off by prepping your veggies like always. Let's start with the carrots. Take a peeler and peel off the skin of the carrots. Give them a good rinse and cut off the ends. Cut the carrots into small thin pieces like this. Then cut them into even smaller chopped pieces. I could have used my Ninja Chopper, but I wanted to show this way to those of you who might not have a food processor or a chopper. Then you're going to want to do the same for the celery. For the onions, you want to make sure you dice them, chop them, however, just make sure they're small pieces. And there's many ways of dicing an onion, but if you don't know how to, then you can do it this way. But please be very careful not to cut your Then you're all done with the veggie prep, now you want to saute the veggies all together. I forgot to record this part, but at this time you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Take a pan and add about half a tablespoon of oil into the pan. Once it heats up, mix in all of your veggies and saute them until they're all cooked. Add a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. Now it's time to mix everything together. Take your ground beef and put it into a big mixing bowl. Then add three big spoonful of your veggies. You can wait for them to cool down or just add them in while still hot. And just be careful not to burn yourself. You can also add ingredients and mix as you go or add them all at once. I prefer adding them individually as I mix. All right, now add three eggs and mix them in well. Add one and a half tablespoons of salt, one and a half tablespoons of black pepper, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, then end it with one cup of breadcrumbs and mix thoroughly. Once you're done mixing, take a baking pan and put your meat in it and form it into a loaf shape or whatever shape you want. I formed it into a 2D turkey once. <laughs> All right. 
right, now that that's done, put it into the oven and bake for about 45 to 60 minutes. You want to make sure the ground beef is fully cooked. You can use a meat thermometer or a cut into it to see if it's still pink. Now, I know right now it doesn't look good, but I don't have a drip pan, so this is what happens. But don't worry, all you gotta do is clean it off with a spoon. At about the last 15 minutes of baking, you want to add your ketchup. Now, remember, I said this is a very simple and easy dish. I don't really care for a fancy glaze because the majority of the meatloaf glazes is mostly just ketchup anyways, and it still tastes great. So with that said, add your ketchup and leave it in the oven for the remaining time. Okay, now that that's done cooking, take it out. I like to add another layer of ketchup, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Now, let's cut into it and show you how it looks. Mm-mm-mm. That looks so good. If you guys do end up trying out this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook at me plus everything. Good luck, you guys. Alright guys, so now that we are finally done with the recipe, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let me give you guys a close up actually. That's how it looks like. I've drizzled a little bit of beef gravy on there and it's just actually from the can of um, the Heinz brand. So that's my favorite brand. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. Get a little bit of that gravy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can taste all the veggies, carrots, onions, celery, and then the black pepper. You can taste everything that was in there. It's salty, but not too salty. And then you can also taste the garlic powder that was in there. Mm. This is just so good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and learning how to make meatloaf. If you do end up giving this recipe a try, please be sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook at me plus everything. And also stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be mashed potatoes. Great pairing with meatloaf. I love, love, love meatloaf and mashed potatoes together. And um, if you have not given this video a thumbs up, please do. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.